Good afternoon, this is a Shaman Oracle reading for November the 16th, 2022, and the reading is for Libra. Good afternoon, Libra. I hope you are well. And I already set everything up so we can start right away, Libra. And we start with the Keepers of the Light Oracle. On the very left and that card is called Hilarion and Hilarion he stands for divine healing and the card says honor your sensitivity retreat to recharge and to heal and your light can support others Hilarion, he is a spiritual master who lived in the Middle East during the 4th century. And at the age of 15, he felt the call to go to the retreat of St. Anthony in the Egyptian desert. There he was busy with people who needed healing, so after a while, he went back home with some monks and during that time his parents passed away and it is said that Hilarion was so devoted to service he gave all of his parents estate to his brothers and the poor and for the rest of his life he lived as a hermit in a cave and was said to perform miracles with prayers and his very own healing powers. And to this day, he is dedicated to healing, but he also helps spiritual people who feel overly sensitive to overcome their challenges and integrate with the normal world. And so, of course, to this day he is dedicated to healing, that means the powers that he left, because he is long gone, okay? The world can seem overwhelming to you, Libra, and it's okay to retreat to a safe space every now and then to cleanse and to recharge your energies. You may feel called to serve others or share your healing with them. But please make sure that you are filled up with light, love and energy first, so that you are not sacrificing your own development for others. You are surrounded by the healing light of Hilarion and the healing angels at this time, so that you can recharge and feel whole before you give your powers to other people. Okay? The Shaman Stream Oracle card is next, and that one is called Trifter. And the Trifter stands for what lights you up, experiencing life as it comes, seeking the essence, but not knowing the form. And the Trifter invites you to step out of your to do list and your ordinary routine to feel the breeze against your skin, calling you to follow the wind and explore life's opportunities. When the Trifter card appears, it's a sign that it's time to cut the mooring lines holding you to the dock. It's not important to know the destination before you set sail. It will become clear as you leave and you are on your journey. Do not wait for a map as there are non -ma no maps where you are destined to go. But be sure that you do have a compass to keep you on your way. Yours is your pure love and your intention to be free even of your own beliefs and 
three conceptions. Few people appreciate the energy of the drifter. And here you might not seem to be doing anything worthwhile or meeting someone else's expectations, Libra. But you are the only one who understands that others are running full out on the hamster wheel and getting nowhere. Your laziness is an unappreciated virtue. You know that life will find you and bring you everything you require without you having to search for it. Be simply being instead of frantic doing. Even as you let your mind wander around, releasing it to go on a daily walkabout, call it back home regularly to deliver news from the cosmos. The drifter helps you find what you are looking for, even when you didn't think you were seeking anything to find or to get an answer to. Next card is the Oracle of the Seven Energies and that card is called Healing the Heart and this energy is number four relating to love. The key concepts of Healing the Heart card are healing, making amends, the willingness to release past pain, being responsible and accountable, taking time to get healthy, renewal and rebirth after suffering. When you are wounded emotionally, you need time to regroup and find your center. You may have recently endured a breakup or betrayal, lost someone close to you or lost an affliction that you gave too much power to. Perhaps you are watching someone go through a difficult time and you feel bad that you can't help them. Maybe you are still not over a past disagreement. No matter what the cause of this heartache, deep healing is called for. This happens on its own timetable and can never be rushed. The path to healing the heart send us on reciprocity, the flow of giving and receiving. Sometimes wounding occurs because we have become too dependent on another and this is accompanied by the desire to manipulate or control an outcome. Both wounding and healing usually begin within not from the outer conditions of our lives. We often believe we can be wounded only by others, but we do more damage to ourselves in the self-sabotaging way we think and behave. It is important to take steps to heal yourself and become willing to release the pain of the past which can be tempting to revisit. It's time to take responsibility for your part in this healing journey. Look for ways you can help yourself and others. Are you willing to make amends if needed or conversely accept someone where they are without trying to influence their growth process, Libra? Healing the heart in all aspects is your priority for now. Nothing else matters. Only beauty and goodness will come as a result. And the last card is Sacred Destiny Oracle card. And the one that came out for you, Libra, is Patience. And the patience relates to dense Fog. Water represents our emotions, our feelings, our subconscious 
and our nocturnal dreams. When the water becomes condensed as fog, we can't see clearly. Fog occurs when the air is cooled to the point at which it cannot hold all the water vapor it contains. Thus, it condenses water vapor where it is suspended in the air as fog. We can see what's ahead and things that look one way in the fog will look another way in the light. However, when you can perceive what's on the horizon in life, your imagination can search forward and your sixth sense can be ignited. The sacred landscape wants you to know Libra. In dense fog, it's best to be quiet and still. For now, don't go forward. Wait. It's hard to see what lies ahead and things may not be as they seem. Things that seem one way may in fact be completely different. Be patient, the truth will emerge. In this state of obscured visibility, your imagination and intuition can be sparked. If you can wait long enough, your dreams and your inner yearnings can come to fruition. Listen to your intuition and pay attention to those seemingly random thoughts. That was your reading, Libra. I wish you a wonderful day. Thanks for listening and goodbye.